You've done it. You finished this course. So now what? <laughs> First off, a really huge congratulations on finishing it and getting through all of the material here because we've covered a lot of material. So the very first thing I want you to do is take some time to digest everything we've learned uh, and not just like, and if you felt overwhelmed because we were covering a lot, that's fine. We covered a lot. There's tons of information in here and definitely there could be some cognitive overload depending on how fast you went through all of this. So you did it though. You got through to the end. You have a functioning website. That is something really amazing and something you should be really, really, really proud of. I'd love it if you could tag me on Blue Sky or Mastodon or whatever social network you're on to let me know that you did it because it's just, I want to celebrate along with you. It's super cool that you got this far. And then once you're ready and you've taken some time to digest it, maybe you've gone back over a few things just to make sure you understand them. That's awesome. I always encourage that people do that and play around with it and experiment with what we have here. At one point, I definitely think it's time to start a new project, but I want you to avoid tutorial hell. And Tutorial hell is when you start just following another course and then another tutorial and another thing that you find on YouTube and then a blog post. It doesn't matter what they are, but it's always tutorials that walk you through all the steps of what you're doing. And you're able to follow those courses and understand everything that's happening in it. You know what this code is doing. You look at it, you understand it. And when they're, the person is writing it, you understand every step they're doing, but then you go to start something on your own and you have no idea where to start. Or you go to make a two column layout like this on your own and you completely forget how to do it. You come back to this and you look at it and you go, oh yeah, that's obvious. I, I, I wish, I don't know why I didn't remember that. That's when you're stuck in tutorial hell. And it's because there's a very big difference be between being able to understand something and to be able to do that thing yourself. And it's with everything that you see this, but like physical things, like I always related to skateboarding because you could watch some of the skateboard, you could understand everything they're doing, watch tutorials, all of that. You, you won't think that you could just step on a skateboard and start, you know, shredding up the skate park. You're going to know that it's going to be really hard to do all of that because there's a lot of things, just knowing it is different from doing it. It seems different with code, but it's the exact same type of learning process that goes with it. You learn what something is, you learn how it works, and then you learn to be able to do it on your own. So I think at this stage, a really good thing to do once you've had a break, you've had time to digest things a little bit, maybe you've played with the code here just to make changes and tweaks and everything else, is to create a new project, but very similar to this one. Maybe a personal project on a hobby that you know or the, something that you could have some content to fill in the page, but just covering a lot of the same things that we've done here two to three pages at the most, simple enough, a couple of columns, maybe you try and do a three column layout instead of a two column layout. So some little changes within the layout, a new color scheme that's much better than the one we created with this one, uh, some stylistic differences, maybe look at like small little tweaks you could do. And what's going to happen is you're gonna be able to start building it out. You're gonna get stuck along the way. So you're gonna reference back to the project that you did as you built along with me, or you'll go back through the course pages and find the different things that remind you how to do stuff. Don't copy and paste any code. Go, oh yeah, that's how we did it. And then write it yourself. It's gonna reinforce what you've been learning. And then you're also gonna have things where you're gonna be like, oh, it'd be really cool if this had a round corner instead. I don't know how to do that. And you look up that thing and you find out how to do it. It's really easy to do. <laughs> so you find out, okay, I'm going to add that in there. And then what if we had a shadow here or this other thing here? Or maybe you want an animation somewhere, but you're doing it all based on like you're building, you're rebuilding what you've already done in a new way. You're making tweaks to it. You're reinforcing what you've learned. You're finding your knowledge gaps or you're getting stuck on stuff you've already done. So you're going back and figuring that out. And then you're sprinkling in a few new things along the way. And those new things will just add to the repertoire. And then you're slowly going to level up as time goes on from there. And if you do end up doing that and you build something that's a little bit cooler than this or just as cool as this or whatever you, whatever it is, once again, please reach out on social media and let me know because I love seeing the types of things people do as a next step after getting through this type of course. And don't worry if it takes you a little while to do. Just take your own time. Everybody's at their own schedule, their own pace. It can be a lot of getting stuck on really simple things that you did over and over and over again in here. If that's happening, do not feel demotivated. It's very, very normal to have to get stuck on a whole bunch of things you've already done. How do links work? Is it an href? Is it an SRC? What's the difference between padding and margin? I don't even remember which one it is and I don't know how to add space and I'm trying to add it and it's not working. Completely normal. 
So we've covered a ton of material here. Not all of it's going to sink in. I'm saying this over and over because I've seen too many people get demotivated when all of a sudden they can't rebuild the site first try, no problems at all. So take your time, go start building some really cool layouts and yeah, have a lot of fun because for me, I love web development and I'm really happy that you chose this course. I really hope you enjoyed it and you learned a lot from it. And I'm really happy to have helped you in these early stages to what I'm sure is going to be you going out there and building some really, really amazing things.